Hi, my name is Sean. I'm part of the IGEM Paris Cycle team 2014. And this year we are participating in the new track, Art and Design. More specifically, we want to work on a uh, work of bio art. Now, what exactly is bio art? It's basically the association of life sciences and art. So you could maybe just express yourself, express your emotions, or you could ask a certain question via your art. Now, one of the questions bio artists ask themselves is, how can synthetic biology affect the way we represent living things? What I mean by this is, for example, if you were to take a, an object or a living thing that exists naturally and try to recreate it, make an exact replica of this object using technologies available in synthetic biology, would you say the two objects are equivalent? So to, in order to answer this question, um, the team Paris Acle proposes the following project, which is to make a lemon that will smell like a lemon, have colors of a lemon, have the form of a lemon, yet not be a lemon. What do I mean by this? Basically, what I mean is we're going to use bacteria that will have certain properties of uh, this, similar to a lemon, such as color, smell, and shape, as we will form the shape of a lemon in agar. There are several underlying principles we could discuss the first being color. Our bacteria will start off green, and as time goes by, the bacteria will consume the food in their media. So as the amount of food decreases, so will their color change from green to yellow, as would a real lemon in real life, which ripens from green to yellow. Second is smell, because we will be using E. coli, and E. coli, as you may know, smells really bad. This is because there is a production of certain molecules called indoles. What we want to do is basically take away all production of indole. That way it won't smell bad. And in its place, we will uh, put a gene that will allow us to have uh, more pleasant aromas, notably of lemon. Now this project is just a start. What we want to ask you is if one day, instead of growing your food, in your garden, instead of going uh, to buy your food at the supermarket. If you were able to buy, uh, grow your own food in your lab using synthetic biology, if you were able to make the exact same food but totally in an artificial way, would you be willing to eat that food? Would you say that the two are totally the same thing? Maybe that's a question you could think about today. Thank you.